TIFU, by finally getting good. So this happened yesterday and I, F, 20, can't stop laughing about it, I feel so bad I don't have anyone else to tell so why not strangers on the internet. It's a sunny afternoon my lover, M, 21, is driving me home after a work event I haven't seen him in two weeks so I've been teasing. I tell him to pull over and give me five minutes. Plot relevant backstory. When we first started dating we were both virgins and I was terrible at head like exceedingly bad and he just seemed to be naturally great at everything. I'm competitive and a high achiever by nature so I make it my personal mission to get good. I go all in. I read the articles, I study his favorite spicy actresses techniques, and I practice on him asking for essentially a grade. We pull over I go to town he hasn't had any fun by himself for about two days and I've been teasing for the last 10 miles so things progress way faster than usual. He finishes tells me frantically to get off and starts actually howling and writhing in pain. I'm panicked oh gods have broken it so naturally I ask what's happening. He says cramps so I tell him to get out the car and squat all the way down to release it. That. Does. Not. Work. He. Weightlifting and had leg day that morning and in his excitement to see me went overboard. I feel his legs to see if I can help. Man has severe spasms in both legs from calf to hip. Tells me I've killadeen. They subside a bit so he takes me to my house a couple minutes away and from driving they get worse again. He tells me I've confirmed the redhead stereotype and I can never leave him because I'll put anyone else in their grave. TLDR my lover got severe leg cramps and I strengthened a stereotype I hate because I got too competitive at giving head. TIFU and got fired over chicken nuggets. I work or rather worked at a fast food place. A little over two weeks ago on a quiet evening at work an old couple came in with who I assumed Toby their granddaughter. They were all wearing matching knitted sweaters, and I remember thinking just how adorable they looked. They deliberated for a bit while counting the money that they had then the old man ordered a kid's meal. I order and went to prepare it myself because we sometimes do this if it's quicker or for other reasons. I gave him his order and he thanked me. They went to sit down not far from my station and he handed the meal to the child. She offered to share her meal but they encouraged her to finish her food by herself. They reassured her that they were not hungry. They seemed to be content just watching here at. She finished and they left. I felt bad for them and looked over at my colleague who also witnessed this, and he just shrugged. The following day, they came again and ordered the same thing. I told them that they could take a sit and he'd bring the order to them. When no one was looking, I instead secretly used a bigger box and filled it to the brim with nuggets and fries. I think it's important to point out that we are no tallowed to do this. People have gotten fired before for giving their friends more food but I did IT anyway. I brought the order to them and they we were surprised to see the size of the meal compared to yesterday's. I gave them a knowing look and a smile and they thanked me. I was just pleased to see all eating. This went on for two weeks although Thee did not come in every day but I still gave them the extras whenever they would come. On Tuesday, they came in earlier but not to eat. They wanted to thank me for helping them through a challenging couple of days. They appreciated the extra food that I gave them because aside from the kid eating at school, that was everyone's only meal for the day. On the bright side they were finally able to receive much needed resources so they wanted to let me know that they won't be coming in anymore. We laughed over the fact that they actually don't like fast food. I told them that I'm glad that I was able to help Abbott and wished them well. When I turned around, my colleague was there but he didn't say anything and neither did I yesterday my manager wanted to speak to me. He told me that he got a tip off that I have been stealing from the store and giving my friends extra orders. The camera footage spoke for itself and there was also a witness. The same colleague who shrugged when that family first came in. It seemed that he was spying on me. Funny thing is he and I both applied for the same position in the store and were waiting to hear who got it. I guess he wanted to eliminate competition which worked because I got fired just in time for me birthday. TL. Dr. I gave an old couple extras on their order for two whole weeks and I got fired for it. TIFU by asking my boyfriend a question about our ex life. My boyfriend and I had ex last night and afterwards we were cuddling and he mentioned he had watched some Orn earlier in the day while I was at work. I know a girl in a asterisk Orn video is always going to be hotter than I am on any regular day. That's the point of Orn and I know there's no sense in comparing myself to those ladies. So, despite knowing that, I spoke without thinking. 
and asked playfully if the RGASM with me was better than the one he got from the Orn video. His response was that the Orn one was better because he'd been really orny and there's a specific actress he likes to watch. Now my feelings are hurt and I can't shake the self-consciousness I've been feeling since then. All I can think is that I'll never be as good as Orn. That's what I get for asking a stupid question though. TLDR. I hurt my own feelings by asking a question I didn't want the answer to. And now I've made myself feel subpar and hotness. TIFU by trying to approach an older woman at the gym. I'm a virgin at 23 and would say I'm pretty desperate at this point. I've been working out for a while, and I'm terrible in social situations. I saw this woman looking at me after my workout when I was resting. I said, how are you doing? She said, okay sorry to disturb you. Then stood there for about 3 seconds. My ex drive shot up, so I thought about approaching her. I have never done it like this. I was confident though. She was in her car and I approached her, yes I know, inappropriate, and said, hey how are you doing I think you're beautiful. Again, I know. She then said, okay, I'll tell my husband that you said that. I could have hit my pants. And I'm an old lady she continued. I apologized to her and walked back to my car where I'm at right now typing this, while simultaneously wanting to jump off a roof, TLDR. I tried to approach an older lady at the Gaimas, a socially awkward, virgin man in his 20s, it thought she was signaling me. Turns out I went about it the inappropriately and she was also married. TIFU by being an absolute ickhead driver. I will preface this by saying that I drive a pretty small car. This will become relevant later. And hash X200B. Okay so I'm driving to work this morning and I wanted to get there a bit early so I could finish up something that's due by 8 AM. I get to the point in my journey just before turning onto the highway where there's a right hand turn. You can turn right. On a red. There's one person in front of me so I can't turn right, but oh well. And hash X200B. Light turns green. I'm like, yes. Finally. But the person doesn't move. It looked like they were blocking our advance to let a bunch of people in the opposite direction turn left. Livid. I decide this person is a odd am idiot who doesn't understand right of way. I start by flashing my brights, hoping this clues them in. They don't move, people are turning left opposite us still. I'm like, Jesus, this person just wants to wait until they've all turned left. Altruistic. But that's not how you drive goddammit. So I honk and start gesticulating. I'm that SS hole waving the hands in your rearview mirror, honking, flashing, brights, screaming at this person that they're awking idiot who doesn't know how to drive. And hash X200B. Finally, they advance a bit and I lay on the horn to punish them for their foolishness. As I turn right onto the highway, I notice the street after the intersection in front of them is completely full. If they had advanced, they would have the intersection completely. I hadn't been able to see in front of them due to my shrimpy little Subaru Impreza. I'm now writing this instead of doing the work that's due at 8 because I need to purge my shame. And hash X200B. TLDR I raged at a person for not advancing through the intersection when there was no room for them to advance. I'm that ickhead driver that ruins your day. I'm sorry. TIFU by telling my girlfriend I can deep throat better than her. My girlfriend, 23F, and I, 25M, are in a long-term relationship. She's going to school in Atlanta and I'm in New York. I miss her all of the time but we can only see each other about once a month when I drive down. So as you can imagine, our text and FaceTimes can be pretty raunchy even though we've been together for a while. One day, our conversation got to giving head and she says, the only reason I stop is the need for oxygen, not a gig reflex, what a flex. But my girl is amazing so no surprise. I, the ever competitive and always curious man that I am responded, I can deep throat better than you. We can get a 10 inches asterisk ildo and I know I'll go deeper. She hits me with, I already know I can throat 10 inches. Those who get it, get it. I've been down bad for days now loudly crying loudly crying loudly crying she been handling 10 inches? I'm about to never pull my ick out again. P.S. There is nothing wrong with my girlfriend or anything she's done in the past. She's great. It just made clear the fact that she's flexed her skills with a much larger ick than mine. Smiling face TLDR. I said I could deep throat better than my girlfriend and her confidence in her ability made me self-conscious about my ick size. 
TIFU by accidentally catching a cheater during a test retake. So I've been pretty sick the past few days prior TOTH events and had to retake a test. How this goes? There are specific days during the week where you can retake a test after school hours, there's a couple people that watch over to make sure people didn't cheat. Anyway I was minding my own business filling up a test. I finish well before the others because test was just short. As I get up to hand in my testy make eye contact with this girl in my gym class, she has her phone opened in the book she's supposed to be using for her own test. It's clearly visible, at least when you stand up. So to warn her thought she'll probably get caught I gave her a hide thought it motion with my hands to try to warn her. She just smiled and giggled a bit in her seat as she was proud to be cheating or something. Anyway as I hand in the paper, one the teacher's hoist supposed to check on the students got distracted and started talking to me about some of my work. I'm an artist and she commissioned me a couple times. And I was also enthusiastic so I tagged along the conversation, while whispering of course. We chatted for maybe a minute or two. Suddenly the teacher I'm with yelled, hey you, and points to the girl that's cheating. I saw you, give me your papers and leave right now. So I turn around because I'm curious of the situation. The girl that was caught was glaring at me so much holy hit. She then yells at me, you itch. And honestly I was surprised and I kind of went like, huh? The girl gets annoyed at me, yells at me to leave. I didn't want to bother the other students in the class by letting her yell at me so I left. Now since I need to wait for a ride to get back home, I waited in the cafeteria. It didn't take long for her to come see me. She started yelling at me, all angry, calling me a itch, telling me to shit up whenever I tried to explain the situation. I thought it was ridiculous so I started smiling and laughing which really didn't help my case. I got home and did my homework as usual. The next day though, I wanted to try to settle things correctly before she starts spreading rumors. She's one of those gossip girls. So I found her in my gym class and tried to talk things through because I expected her to have calmed down by now. Nope. She went all out on me, cussed me out again, didn't let me explain. She got so heated that she ended up punching me in the mouth. I really didn't expect her to become physically agitated nor have I ever had a punch thrown at me so I wasn't able to dodge it split my lip open i didn't want to start a fight so i continued to talk calmly this time though i was pretty agitated myself so i responded in a passive aggressive way mainly to tell her how ridiculous it is to have gotten mad at me for getting caught cheating and even more for that punch i mean she's 17 for uck sake i left the class to get my face cleaned up fast forward to today three days later there's been rumors going on around the school for my snitching reminder I didn't, and I've been getting called, named since, a broken lip and the reputation of a teacher's petal because of a misunderstanding. I just hope it dees down a bit because I really and I mean I really don't want to leave things at that. There's no reason for both of us to hate each other. TLDR, caught a girl in my class cheating, a misunderstanding was created and I have got, physically and verbally abused since.